This shirt was supposed to be COD 2.0, a new life for the Call of Duty franchise, updated like never before. There was supposed to be a two-year life cycle in this year's COD, a seamless transition between new games. Instead, we're five months into Modern Warfare 2, the life cycle of it at least, and it's losing players due to the complete negligence of multiplayer, the game mode which is the foundation of COD, the reason that it's popular in the first place. And to top that off, they choose to prioritize Warzone 2, which is objectively worse than Warzone 1, which is barely supported by the original, the hardcore Call of Duty fan base in the first place. Who would have thought that a Call of Duty Battle Royale built on the back of a trending genre, the fact it was free and a worldwide pandemic wouldn't last? Meanwhile, abandoning the fan base that's been playing the game for two decades would be bad for the game. So it feels like Activision have completely given up on this COD 2.0 thing and we've seen no significant updates to COD or Warzone 2 since the subpar season 2 reloaded and now we're two months out from a completely new Call of Duty beta. Keep in mind, the COD that we're going to be getting this year was originally supposed to be a DLC expansion for this year's Modern Warfare 2. So I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to make all the promises. They're going to tell you that the game's going to be amazing, it's going to be complete, it's going to launch with more content than ever, and they're going to support it like no COD they ever have. But when it inevitably releases, it's going to be incomplete, it's going to be buggy, it's going to be a money grab, and I'm definitely going to tell you this, they're not going to support it for more than two months. Remember that it was never intended to be a full standalone game, although yes, it was going to be a premium title, Activision said, it was going to be an expansion for Modern Warfare 2, it was never intended to be its own game, and so for that reason, I think it's going to be shit, but just to prove it, I'm obviously going to cover all the leaks as they continue to drop, so make sure you're subscribed, and for those of you that do that, also make sure you like this video. But we've essentially had this COD 2.0 thing for about five months now. Again, this was supposed to be the revival of the franchise, especially after what was the poor excuse for a video game in Call of Duty Vanguard. What we were going to get, or supposedly going to get, was regular balancing updates, which hasn't happened. Again, the RPK and the Fennec have dominated the game essentially until a few weeks ago. We were going to get regular content updates, which also hasn't happened because we've only seen one new original map since launch. We were going to get lots of dev updates and communication from Infinity Ward, which initially I will admit has been good, and for Raven Software and Warzone it has continued to be good, but lately it's been incredibly shit. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the Trello board that Infinity Ward released, I'm going to link that down below, that barely gets updated anymore. And do you remember when they said that they were going to release all squad sizes at launch for Resurgence? That was also kind of funny. Every single year we get sold a new COD game that's just good enough to keep us coming back. And we get sold this game based on lies before launch that uh, predetermine our perceptions of the game or how good it's going to be. We get made promises that are never kept. Me personally, I'm of the belief that COD will never die or never in that circumstance is a bit hyperbolic, but it will take a long, long time for Call of Duty to die. It's so big and essentially has a monopoly on the arcade first person shooter at this point, realistic arcade first person shooter, that it takes a lot to kill this game. But that being said, it's definitely still losing players. There's a difference between dying and losing players, right? It can be losing players without completely dying, and it is for sure losing a lot of players. In fact, it was leaked a while ago that Activision believed that Modern Warfare 2, despite being one of the greatest selling Call of Duty games at launch, was losing a lot more players at a much faster rate than was initially predicted. Now that fact, along with the Microsoft acquisition, are definitely big contributors to the lack of attention that this game, Modern Warfare 2, as well as Warzone 2, have been getting in the past few months. There's something that I want you guys to understand, and that's that you can only really speak with your wallets. Now I'm not going to tell you to stop buying Call of Duty, right, because that would make me extremely hypocritical. The only COD I've in fact never bought is Modern Warfare 2019, and I never bought that game because I could see what direction they were taking that game, and I personally don't care for that style of gameplay. That being said, if you don't like where COD is going, don't buy it. That really is the only way to wake up Activision, or Microsoft obviously if the acquisition actually goes through. The only way to wake them up is if we don't buy the game, because that's how they really hear us. They see all the social media talk and what we want and what we desire, but they're not actually going to implement it because at the end of the day this all comes down to money, and so if they're not earning money, they're forced to make change. And so if you don't buy the game, that's really the only way to voice your displeasure with the direction the game is going in. Maybe if Microsoft acquires Activision, the direction will change and they will give full 
creative control back to the development teams but unless that happens right i can promise you every single year a call of duty game is going to come out and every single year we're going to get made promises that aren't kept maybe those promises will change but i can tell you right now for the last few years those promises have been this call of duty is going to get updated more than ever right it's going to get the most content ever the most features ever and none of those promises are ever kept all we can really hope is that either this Microsoft Activision works out for the betterment of Call of Duty or the community finally catches on, which I kind of had a little bit of hope for because especially with games like Fortnite, like CSGO, like kind of Rainbow Six Siege, right? They really show how good games are built to last, right? You continuously update these games and improve upon them. Call of Duty right now isn't that. It's not a game that's built to last. It's a game that's built to release year after year after year and like i said they make it just good enough so that you keep going back to it a new call of duty every year is inevitable but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did be sure to leave a like like i said and hit that subscribe button i love you all my name is zeb have a good one